Hi, welcome to Feedback and Controls System. For this video, I'll be discussing block diagrams. So if you want to know more, then please keep on watching. As I've mentioned earlier, I'll be discussing block diagrams. To start the discussion, let us first define what is a block diagram. Block diagrams consist of a single block or a combination of blocks. These are used to represent the control system in pictorial form. This figure shows what a block diagram looks like. The three basic elements of a block diagram are a block, the summing point, and the takeoff point. Let us consider the block diagram of a closed loop system as shown in the figure to identify these elements. The figure shows a block diagram that consists of two blocks having transfer functions g of s and h of s. It has one summing point and one takeoff point. The arrows indicate the direction of the flow of signals. Let us now discuss these elements one by one. The first element of a block diagram is a block. The transfer function of a component is represented by a block. It has a single input and a single output. The figure shows a block having input x of s, output y of s, and transfer function g of s. This equation shows the transfer function. The transfer function g of s is equal to y of s over x of s. The output of the block is obtained by multiplying transfer function of the block with input. The second basic element of a block diagram is summing point. The summing point is represented with a circle having cross inside it. It has two or more inputs and a single output. It produces the algebraic sum of the inputs. It also performs the summation or subtraction or combination of summation and subtraction of the inputs based on the polarity of the inputs. Let us see these three operations one by one. The figure in example 1 shows the summing point with two inputs and one output. Here, inputs A and B have a positive sign, so the summing point produces the output Y as sum of A and B. The figure in example 2 also shows the summing point with two inputs and one output. But, in this figure, the inputs A and B are having opposite signs. A is having a positive sign while B is having a negative sign. So, the summing point produces the output Y as the difference of A and B. Lastly, the figure in example 3 shows the summing point with 3 inputs and 1 output. Here, inputs A and B are having positive sign and C is having a negative sign. So, the summing point produces the output Y as A plus B minus C. The last basic element of a block diagram is a takeoff point. The takeoff point is a point from which the same input signal can be passed through more than one branch. That means, with the help of takeoff point, we can apply the same input to one or more blocks' summing points. In this figure, the takeoff point is used to connect the same input R of S to two or more blocks. In this section, let us represent an electrical system with a block diagram. Electrical system contain mainly three basic elements, resistor, inductor, and capacitor. Consider a series of RLC circuit as shown in the figure, where VIT and VOT are the input and output voltages, while IT is the current passing through the circuit. If you notice, this circuit is in time domain. By applying the Laplace transform to this circuit, we will be able to have the circuit in S domain. This is shown in the following figure. From that circuit, we can write IS is equal to VIS minus VOS over R plus SL. For equation 1, we have IS is equal to the quantity of 1 over R plus SL times the quantity of VIS minus VOS. While for equation 2, we have VOS is equal to the quantity of 1 over SC times IS. After getting these equations, we can now draw the block diagrams of these two equations individually and then combine those block diagrams properly in order to get the overall block diagram of the series of RLC circuit. Equation 1 can be implemented with a block having transfer function 1 over R plus SL. The input block is VIS minus VOS, while the output block is IS. We require a summing point to get VIS minus VOS. The block diagram of equation 1 is shown in this figure. 
Equation 2 can be implemented with a block having transfer function 1 over SC. The input block is IS and the output block is VOS. The block diagram for equation 2 is shown in the figure. Lastly, we combine the block diagrams of the equation to arrive at the overall block diagram of the series of RLC circuit in S domain. This is shown in the figure. Here are the steps on how to draw the block diagram of any electrical circuit or system. The first step is to convert the time domain electrical circuit into an S domain electrical circuit by applying Laplace transform. Second is to write down the equations for the current passing through all the series branch elements and voltage across all shunt branches. Third is to draw the block diagrams for all above equations individually. The last step is to combine all these block diagrams properly in order to get the overall block diagram of the electrical circuit in S domain. Thank you for watching! I hope you learned a thing or two. Till next time, bye!